is marketing a new line of toys after the Teenage Rock Group. New Center 5's Byron Pitts reports the company is counting on something fans already know. The new kids are real dolls. New kids on the block are hanging tough according to the title song on their latest album and making money according to their latest bank statement. An estimated $200 million in record and merchandise sales last year alone. And they're off to a good start in 1990. Today unveiling a line of new kids looking like dolls. Time size versions of John, Danny, Jordan, Donnie, and Joe. Each will go for about $13 or $16 a piece. Will they sell? Yeah. Yeah, well, I love everything from new kids is going to sell. So you'd buy one? Yeah. For yourself? No, not for myself. I'm too old for dolls. Oh. I thought I wanted to buy Johnny Wahlberg. But you're buying one for your room? Yeah, Johnny Wahlberg, definitely. <laughs> My little cousin was looking for different items for new kids on the block. T-shirts, earrings, holsters. You're, you're a big fan of new kids on the block? Yeah. Oh, Today they just came out with new kids on the block dolls. <laughs> That's the look of a true new kids fan. The dolls manufacturer expects they'll appeal mostly to girls age 6 to 10. But expect to see a few big kids in line. Nancy Gorman of Jamaica Plain, for instance, carries a picture of Joseph McIntyre in her purse. They're not too big to own, they're not too old to own one of them. I would like to have them for a collection because I had a feeling that 10 years from now they're going to be collected by them. So it might be a good investment then? A definite good investment. <laughs> to the heartstrings of young fans or the pocketbooks of older admirers, the new kids look-alike dolls can be on store shelves by July. Byron Pitt, New Center 5, tonight. This is a big ad in this picture.